Hi guys, Jordan Lee here, Wheelcastle Daggerian. Uh, so I done a, a video yesterday on uh, preparing and um, priming a fireplace. And uh, so basically it's ready for the first finished coat. And I thought there'd be a video putting it on. Um, so basically, you know, you can see where we are here. I've just done a wee sample there. Uh, before I left last night, just to see how the colour went with this here, you know. Um, so anyway, I think the two colours go okay. Let me know what you think yourselves. I had to pick this colour and uh, hopefully the customer will come in after a holiday and like it. So anyway, uh, after yesterday's video, so I had this all primed and ready, okay. So all you have to do uh, when it's primed is give it a wee fine sand, that's it, you know, the whole area. Just give it a wee light sand and uh, dust it down. And if you have a wee cloth or a wee tack cloth, just wipe off the fine dust. And that's basically it. And it's ready, you know. And like I said yesterday, you know, uh, again, I'm working with uh, this stuff here, which is the... Um, the colour's London clay, it's a fire and ball colour, and uh, it's Johnson's Aqua System Water Base 7. So it does go off again, uh, it does go off pretty quickly. So again, you know, what I was saying yesterday, just do this fireplace in sections. There's seven sections on it, okay? So uh, if these we, this one here, far side, you know, you'll see what I'm doing as I'm going along. Uh, I'm sure you got the gist of it yesterday when I was putting the primer on. And hopefully my uh, camera won't go upside down. <laughs> I was filming yesterday and I, I turned it all the way around and I was upside down. So anyway, uh, if you're watching it, just turn your phone upside down, you'll be able to see it. Um, right, okay, so we'll get this here sorted. So uh, anyway, I got a litre of this stuff. Give it a wee stir. I poured it into a paint kettle. I'm using an inch and a half again, uh, we uh, Prodac Ice Fusion brush. Good, uh, good fine bristles in it, uh, especially for enough, you get a nice fine finish. And here we have it here. So, where's my, my wee kettle? My brush, ready to go. Just pop my wee camera down there, like so. So, anyway, uh, what I'll do first is, um, I'll do this wee square here at the top of this here. And what you'll find putting this on, it definitely goes on a lot easier than the, uh, the primer. You know, but the primer makes, does make the job easy. If you get the primer done, as I say, the primer is the most important uh, coat, so. I'm going to put two coats of this on today, so uh, I think it's uh, you have four hours, four hours before you can reapply your your second coat of this stuff. So, which is handy. I, I'll put a coat on just before I leave today. You know, just that wee shape bit there. Again, so you can see what I'm doing. Just cut it off in the wee corners there, like so. These wee squares here, there's a lot of detail in them, you know, so you just need to get right into it, you know. And uh, But again, after you do it, just make sure there's no big thick blobs of paint or, you know, just give it a wee tap your brush, you know, just like that there. And just cut off this, the square top edge there. And 
there you have it. So you can see, uh, again, you know, when you're using these water-based satins, you know, uh, as you can see, there's the colour dry. You can see what I done yesterday. So it's nice, you can actually see when you're putting your second coat on, you can see exactly what you're doing because the colour is a lot lighter, you know. So the next section is here, just the way I've done it yesterday. Okay, so it's just this wee middle section here, across and down. This is, the, as I say, this is the aqua satin. Um, Johnson's do a, a done a fitting one at the aqua guard, and uh, now I have to say, I mean, this is this is quite good this stuff. But the aqua guard, the aqua guard is better, you know. But they didn't have any in, so I just got this uh, again. But no, it, it does. You do get a tough finish with it. It's nice to work with. Covers well, you know. And as you can see, you know, compared to the primer yesterday, this stuff goes on a lot easier, a lot quicker. It's actually, it's actually quite nice to put on, you know. Again, but if you have a good brush, it makes all the difference. So it does. Again, don't touch this, this is a separate section. Just go on halfway up this wee border here, you know. And again, like I was saying yesterday, follow the grain. So basically, uh, this grain goes across here, this one comes down. You, you always hear when you jot in the weed there, so just Bring that across and then just bring your brush down on the line there in the joint. That's it. I'm just going to do a wee square section here at the bottom. And again, see why I've got it all taped up? It, it, as, I say, as I said yesterday, Whenever you're given, uh, especially some three coats, you know, uh, far, far, it's a tailored job, it's quicker, you don't pick up any dust or anything, you know. Again, you have that wee join there. So it goes across and bring this one down. 
can. It's quite simple. Just follow the queen another week. So then yesterday I done this wee middle section. Next. Okay. Here. So if you can remember there's a separate piece of wood in here. You can see, you can actually see it there where I've laid it off. The green goes down here at each corner, vertical, and then the middle goes across. So you have to follow uh, the green. Just bring your follow the frame across like so, very lightly, and just bring this down your your line on the, the wood. And there you have it. And so, okay, as I say, whenever you're just laying it off there, I have no pressure on this brush at all. Very, very light, so you can't see those brush marks. Same, uh, you have a wee grain come down here and it comes across. Just follow the name, just like that. That's basically it. So there you have it. So I haven't got much left on this here to do, you know, just around this wee top section here and at the side. So it gives you an idea, you know. Uh, I think of two colours now, as I say, the, the, the this is two tones on the far ball colour card, this is uh, two tones down from this. So I do think uh, it goes well. Uh, all I know is when the custom comes on. It's up to her. She likes it well and good. And if not, we can't pick another colour. But so as I say, what do you think yourself? I, I do think the two colours do go well. So what I'll do is I'll finish this. I've other bits and pieces, a bit of paper hanging to finish here. Uh, I have the handrail to do, uh, to refurnish the handrail. 
and uh, before I leave this evening I put the finished coat in this here. Uh, so anyway, any questions on doing hand painted fireplaces or from primer to finish coat the preparation? As usual, get back to me. Thanks now, bye.